All right, let's get started. Um, to hatch brine shrimp in the classroom, these are all household products for the most part, or stuff that you can find easily uh, in the grocery stores besides your brine shrimp eggs. But what we'll uh, need is we'll need some regular table salt, just plain. A liter of water, if you want, you can get a two liter of water if your class is a little bit bigger size. A tablespoon, some masking tape and a marker. Every child will need a straw and a plastic clear um, cup. A funnel, it'll just help pour the salt in our uh, hatching solution. You'll need some brine shrimp eggs. I recommend uh, the higher hatch out. This is 90%. Um, I think you'll have a better time trying to get eggs to hatch with the 90% the way that we're going to be doing it. If you plan to grow them out, you'll want to use some spirulina powder or uh, baking yeast. You'll also need some baking soda for our hatching solution um, and then a lamp. So let's get started. We'll start by making our hatching solution. So to make our hatching solution or our saline solution, uh, you want some warm water. Just regular tap water is fine. Um, and what we'll do is we'll measure out one tablespoon of salt. Uh, a tablespoon is equal to about 25 grams of salt. Uh, and so if you do one heaping tablespoon per liter, it should be fine. So take your one heaping tablespoon, add it to your water again warm water and then you want to take some baking soda just to just to stabilize or get the correct pH in your water just a pinch will be fine a pinch per liter and then what we'll do is take your salt water solution now and just shake it so it dissolves and there we have our hatching solution that we'll put the brine shrimp in. Alright, the next thing we'll want to do is give each of the child their, their, their hatching container, their plastic cup. Again, make sure it's clear so that they can watch the brine shrimp swim through the water column. Um, give each child a piece of masking tape and write their name on it. This way they can identify it and it's going to serve as our refill line. You want to put it about three quarters of the way up and what we'll do is every day you're going to lose a little bit of water due to evaporation so you want to fill it up with just tap water, not, this, not the hatching solution, just tap water because all the salt will still be in there. But try to keep it to the top of the masking tape. Okay with that we'll fill our our hatching container with the salt solution just above there, just above that little line. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll take our brine shrimp eggs and all you need is a pinch. You can see that. Just a little pinch will do. And put it in there you'll see it will float at first. A pinch is equal to about 20,000 brine shrimp eggs so you're dealing with quite a lot of brine shrimp eggs in there. Um, but then just kind of stir it with your straw because what they are is they're dehydrated and so they're dimpled and they'll float for 10 or 15 minutes until they actually become hydrated and pop out. You can also give it a little blow to put some air in there but very gently. And you'll want to do this at the beginning of end of class, have each of their students um, just give a little air into the into the cup. Okay. With that, that's all you need to do pretty much. You'll want to add some light, a lamp during the night, um, and put over the 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 children's uh, glasses. And then if you decide to grow them out, you'll want to feed them the spirulina. Um, 
or baker's yeast, just a pinch of it, maybe once a week, twice a week at the most, because uh, you can't overfeed brine shrimp. And then in a matter of a day, you'll see, if you look real close, you'll be able to see them. Two days, you'll be able to see them better, and then three days, of course, they'll get larger and larger. You probably don't need to feed them till about day three or four, just because they live off their yolk reserves. You also want to keep the glass in a warmer place if you can. Try not to put it in a windowsill where the temperatures will vary greatly from night to day because uh, it is supposed to be warm. The cooler it is, the slower it will take to hatch, but for the most part, your kids will be able to start playing with their brine shrimp in a matter of two or three days, and then you can do experiments on them with the various external factors uh, to see what environments brine shrimp need to live in. So, good luck.